Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make this bracelet. I call it the Spurla bracelet. So for this bracelet, you're going to need some bands that you're going to use for the center part of the bracelet, which is a fishtail, and then you'll need some bands for the outer part of the bracelet, which is like a single. So you can use as many colors as you want for the inner fishtail part and the outside, but I suggest making the inner side, inside fishtail, multicolored, and then making the outside color just plain. So I can't tell you exactly how many bands you'll need for this. You'll need as many bands as you would need to make yourself a fishtail bracelet. And then you'll need some bands to make a single, or a few single bracelets, because the outside's kind of condensed like this in a weird way. But there's that. And you'll need a mini loom, a monster tail, or a rainbow loom. Anything that has two pegs. Heck, you could even do this on your fingers if you wanted to. So, to begin, you first just make a regular old fish tail. And I forgot to mention this bracelet is based off the Frozen bracelet by Rainbow Loom. So if you've made that, this should be pretty easy. But anyways, you make a normal fish tail with a cat band at the end. And then you clip it at the top like you normally would. But you don't clip the bracelet together. You just leave it straight for now. And now, going to take your hook, go into your cat band, grab a black or your outside border color, outside, I guess, DNA part, I don't know what to call it really, and then string, string it through the cat band, and then take your mini loom, and then just place it on the two pegs like that. And then, so it should look like that. And then, you basically do sort of like a normal single in a way, but it's rather different. Now you take a black band, you string it onto and down this fishtail that you have in the middle here. And then just place it on the pegs around it. And then loop it over like a usual single. Like that. And make sure that this, the uh, fish tail in the middle doesn't get twisted up while you do the single. And then you do the same step basically for the whole bracelet. Take a black. String it onto this fishtail, all the way down, and then place it on these pegs, like that. And then you loop the bottom over like a single. And then push it down. I'll show you a few more times. Oh gosh, I got a hair in my video again. Sorry about that guys, my hairs get everywhere. Because I'm Claire. And then you place the black on. Pegs. And then put the bottom over. Push it down, and then repeat. So it should look something like this so far. Now it shouldn't be twisting, and if it does, I guess that's okay, but if it's not twisting, it's perfectly fine. You're going to twist it later after you finish your bracelet. Now I'm going to do the rest off camera, and then I'm going to come back to show you how to finish your bracelet. 
Okay. So I've made my bracelet long enough and covered the whole thing until only the C-clip is poking out. And now, how you're going to finish the bracelet. It's going to take your hook. Might want to stretch this out a bit. And put it onto a peg. Both of the parts of the fish tail. Like that. And then I like to take my hook and go into just the fish tail part. And then take your C clip off for now. And set it to the side. And then, since I put it on this left peg, I'm going to keep the bottom part of the band down and keep it on that peg. But the top part, I'm going to take off and put on the other end. Like that. And then you're going to take the color that you used for your outer part, the black part, single. And then you're going to take these two bands and loop them over. And same on the other side. And then push down. Take one end of the black. Put it on the same peg as the other end of the black. Take your C-clip back. And then clip it. Clip both parts of the, seat, the black band, and then pull it off and set your loom aside. And then, that's your bracelet. Now, because the bracelet's all twisted, like DNA, I'm going to have to twist this bracelet before clipping the cat band on the other end. So you just take it, roll it around in your fingers to twist it. You're going to have to twist it a lot. About this much should be good. And then making sure you don't untwist it, find the cat band, take a clip, and then just clip it. And then you want to evenly distribute your twisting. And then if you ever see your cat band twisting a lot, it means that you can twist your bracelet a bit more. Like that. Twist a tiny bit more. And yeah, but if your cat band twists, it's fine. It doesn't mean anything bad happening. bad's happening. It just means that you might want to twist your bracelet a bit more. But anyways, there's your bracelet. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.